Hello, this is Brad Tallis with NextGen Solutions. Today's Fusion Friday topic is making and taking shortcuts. I'll be showing how to customize toolbars, use the S key dialog, create custom shortcut keys, and I'll show the magic of the marking menu. So let's dive right in. So the first tip I want to cover is customizing your toolbars with commonly used commands. You'll notice the toolbars have your commonly used commands such as press pull, fillet, and shell, but there might be some commands that you want to use quite often. For example, when I'm trying to fix a corrupt model, I use the plane on a path command and the sphere command quite a bit. As I'm hovering over the sphere command, you'll notice the three little dots. If I click on those, I can select pin to the toolbar. It has now put the sphere command up in the toolbar. I can do the same thing with plane on a path. Let's also add mid plane and plane at an angle to the toolbar. You can reorder the icons by clicking and dragging to reposition them. If you want to remove them, you can just click and drag them off of the toolbar. So this is a very quick way to put frequently used commands up into your toolbox. The next tip I want to share is using the S key. By pressing S on the keyboard, a Design Shortcuts menu appears at my cursor. We can see a couple of icons in the dialog already, and there's also a search field. Let's say I'm working on a project that contains a lot of patterning in it. I can start to type pattern into the search dialog, and any command with the word pattern will show up. We can add pattern on a path by clicking the up arrow. Let's also add rectangular pattern and the mirror command. When you press the S key, the dialog appears wherever your mouse cursor is at. By clicking on one of the icons, it will now run that command. Also, you can run any of the commands you find in the search dialog. For example, if I search for Appearance, I can click on it to run it. I didn't even have to add it to the dialog. Lastly, you can select the three dots next to any command and choose Pin to Shortcuts, and it will put it into the Shortcuts dialog. Also, the dialog changes depending on which workspace you are in. If I go into the Manufacturing workspace, the dialog changes to show manufacturing shortcuts. If I went into the Drawings workspace, you would see Drawing commands. The next tip I want to show is about customizing shortcut keys. You'll notice that some of the commands have shortcut letters next to them, like E for Extrude, H for Hole, F for Fillet, and M for Move but some of the commands don't have shortcut keys. Let's say I will need to use Revolve, Sweep, and Loft quite a bit for my design. Instead of having to go to the commands in the menu every single time, I can create shortcut keys instead. By selecting the three dots next to the command, we can select Change Keyboard Shortcut. It is asking for a new keyboard shortcut so I press R for Revolve. But notice I get a warning. It's conflicting with R for Rectangle, and I don't want to change that. I'll press Backspace to clear the input. Notice it gives me some hints that you can combine modifiers with like Shift or Alt or Control, for example. This time I'll press Shift and R and now it doesn't conflict. If we go to the main menu, you now see Shift-R next to the Revolve command. 
Let's do the same thing for the sweep and loft commands. Again, when I try and use Shift S, it conflicts with a scripts and add ins shortcut. But I don't use that command that often, so I will let Fusion reset the shortcut. We'll do Shift L for loft. Now all these commands have shortcut keys assigned to them. I use shortcut keys all the time, like E for extrude or M for move. If I now do Shift L, I'm in the loft command, and Shift S takes me to the sweep command. So you can see how quickly you can get into the commands that you want without ever having to go up into the menu. Also, there's a cheat sheet for the pre existing shortcut keys. I'll go ahead and link this in the video, but if you just do a search for Fusion Shortcut Keys, it'll bring up this web page. Here you can see all of the out of the box shortcut key assignments. Probably one of my favorite shortcuts is what is called the marking menu. If I right mouse click, a menu appears with a blue radar type section and a pre selection section. If I pre select an edge and right mouse click, the marking menu will only show commands that make sense for what you've selected. In this case, it shows fillet and chamfer. If I pre select a face, the menu changes to show commands that you can do with a face, like sketch or extrude. So, depending on what you select, will give you different options when you right mouse click. Going back to the top of the marking menu, you will see there are commands that we can run from the marking menu. For example, at the 12 o'clock position, it repeats the last command, sweep in this example. So in this design, I have a bunch of overlapping surfaces I want to trim back. I'll use the S key to search for trim and run it right from there. I can now select the trim tool and the surfaces I want trimmed. Instead of moving all the way over to the menu and selecting OK, I can just right mouse click and drag to the 3 o'clock position, which is OK. If I right click and drag straight up, it will repeat the trim command for me. Check out how fast this process is instead of constantly having to go over to the menu or selecting trim each time. It's so fast. And this is just one example. I hope these tips will help speed up your design process. Once you get used to them, you'll find yourself going to the main menus less and less. If you found this video helpful, please make sure you press the like button. I'd really appreciate that. Thank you and see you on the next Fusion Friday.